I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that dad loved me, loved my mom, loved my sister, all of those things. That's not in question. But what we're left with is I was left with a sort of a, I was in a fog of grief uh, following his passing and really had to lean not only on the wonderful counselor from the scriptures, mm-hmm. processing that with the Lord, but also ended up with a grief counselor who helped me process through some of that and uh, wrote a song for dad called um, It Hurts to Say Goodbye to You. I'm actually planning on singing that tonight. But but that, that night when my sister called me to, to tell me the news, um, the Lord again broke through my heart with his scripture, the one in song um, that says precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of the saints and I just had that I was able to just recall that um, during that night just and I kept repeating it to myself and I incorporate that verse into the song as well and wrote another one called um, destination home um, that goes a little deeper um, y- you know into the subject of suicide but um, I, I praise God that he, um, gives us the gift of eternal life, that my relationship with my dad, mm. my earthly father is eternal because we're in Christ. So we're no longer just father and daughter. We are brother and sister. And I praise God that I will see him again one day. That is awesome. I want you to comment as we conclude, you mentioned how God really uses music and has used music in your life to help you through the pain that you mm-hmm. experience. Mm-hmm. You're a worship leader, you're a singer, you're a songwriter. How is it that you see that music can be such a powerful tool that God uses to to bring people through those times of yeah. pain and grief and <laughs> difficulty that they may be right. facing? Yes, you know, I've been in seasons in my life where, and I'm a lover of God's Word, but I've been in seasons in my life where I just couldn't even pick up God's Word. You know, I could just lay, though, and I could listen to music. It's um, I just uh, a special gift, a special in that God has with us that that combined with the power of Holy Spirit, he ministers to us in a unique way um, through music when we can't do the, you know, when I, when I can't write in my journal, when I can't read the scripture because I'm so heavy hearted. Um, he can just sing over me, you mm. know. Isn't that interesting? There's yeah. a scripture that speaks of him, that he sings over us, and um, and we get to experience that real time through the power of music. And someone might say, well, Sherry, I'm not a singer, <laughs> but someone can still allow God to work in and through them as mm-hmm. they just purpose to mm-hmm. enter into worship before him and and he will do incredible things yes and when we there's something powerful uh when we worship we are taking our eyes off of ourselves and we're putting our eyes on jesus and we're reciting his attributes you know we're sometimes proclaiming things with our lips we're proclaiming who he is and in doing that we're encouraging our own spirit you know we're um we're speaking we're speaking with our lips or singing with our lips rather um maybe something that our heart needs to catch up to and um, as we do that the Lord oftentimes through his kindness will will let our hearts catch up to it and we'll be in a place where um, you know the things of this world fade away and he's all we see 